Asia versus the plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is a global issue with over 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic debris and 170 trillion particles afloat in the ocean. Asia is the most severe region with nine out of the top 10 biggest ocean plastic waste polluters being in Asia. The Philippines leads the list with over 36% of global plastic waste emitted to the ocean, while India and China are leaders in mismanaging plastic waste. The World Bank estimates that only 5% of total plastic waste generated in South Asia is recycled. Asian countries should prioritize addressing growing domestic demand and production as emerging economies in Asia are projected to see some of the fastest growing rates in plastic use. China is predicted to see the largest consumption by 2050, while India will have the fastest growth rate of plastic use. In 2022, 175 countries agreed to form a legally binding treaty to tackle plastic pollution and waste management, as well as plastic production and design. However, Negotiations were expected to conclude in December 2024 at a special meeting in Busan, South Korea. In the meantime, the world will have to rely on patchwork fixes and voluntary efforts. The EU, the biggest plastic waste exporter, announced it would ban exports to poorer nations outside the OECD from mid-2026 to protect the environment and health in those regions. The Union will also introduce stricter rules for exports to OECD countries. Import bans similar to those in some Asian nations can also help tame pollution. On a national scale, taxation, extended producer responsibility, polluter pays principal schemes, and programs for incentivizing recycling can prove crucial. For example, Romania has implemented a deposit return system where consumers make deposits when buying beverages in plastic packaging and get their money back when returning the empty container to a designated collection point. It is also crucial for countries to provide communities access to proper waste collection services, as at least 1.2 billion still live without such services. This results in waste being dumped on land or rivers or burned in open fire a problem for South and Southeast Asian countries. Governments can accelerate the shift toward more circular and sustainable product and packaging design through laws, regulations, and incentives that justify them in a competitive market. While the Bu Sang meeting demonstrated that a few nations can hold the world hostage over one of the biggest ecological problems humanity has ever faced, the conscious side of the market has the tools to reduce virgin plastic demand and consumption. In the end, it comes down to political and behavioral change and the willingness to apply it rather than the search for answers. Petrostates are limited in their ability to combat this.